In this problem, we've got a particle that's travelling with constant velocity. Now, if it's travelling with constant velocity, there is no acceleration. Newton's first law then says that there is zero resultant force. And so, we can use that fact to find the values of A and B. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this down and look, it, look at it by resolving the forces uh, horizontally and vertically. Okay? Now, I'm going to take the horizontal direction as positive, and that's identified by me writing this. I'm resolving where that direction is positive. Okay? And I've got 4A plus 1 working in the positive direction. Then I've got 10 newtons working against me, and I've got 3B working against me, and it's all in equilibrium, and so this must be 0. OK? So this sets up one equation. So I'm going to rewrite that. So I've got 4A minus 3B. I've got the 1, take away 10, so minus 9, add the 9 to both sides. And so I've got 4a minus 3b is 9, and that can be equation number 1. So hopefully you can see where this is going. This is going straight to simultaneous equations. I'm now going to resolve taking upwards as positive. So I've got the 2a working upwards. I've got the 5 newtons working upwards. I've got 3b minus 2 working against me. And that's got to be equal to 0. OK? So tidying that up, we've got 2a minus 3b. And I've got 5 take away minus 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So I can subtract 7 from both sides to get the minus 7. OK? And that's equation number 2. Now, at this point, you should be able to type these directly into your calculator, OK, uh, using the, the simultaneous equation solver. Um, I'm going to go through this algebraically, uh, just to kind of uh, get the old uh, blood pumping with simultaneous equations. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do equation 1, take away equation 2. So I'm going to have 4a take away 2a, so 2a. The minus 3b take away minus 3b is 0. 9 take away minus 7 is 16. And so a is 8. OK, that's a. Now I can find b. So I can substitute into either of those two. So I'm going to sub into uh, number 2, I think. So 2 lots of a is 16. Take away 3b is minus 7. So if I add the 7 to both sides, I get 23. Add the 3b to both sides, I get 3b. Divide both sides by 3. And so b must be 23 thirds. OK? And so that is how I can find a and b uh, resolving in the positive uh, horizontal direction and the positive uh, vertical direction, and setting up two simultaneous equations to find those constants.